Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session, we have seen a two different queries in MySQL using the Python application that is a, uh, update and alter. So in this session, we'll go with uh, two more queries that is delete and drop. So here the delete and drop tables, I mean drop uh, queries are used to delete the data. So in order to delete the data with respect to a condition, that means if you want to delete the records in a table, then we'll go with the delete query. And if you want to delete the complete table, we'll go with this drop. So this is for delete is for deleting or removing records of a table. Whereas coming to the drop, drop is for deleting or removing complete table complete table so first we'll see the query for this one so delete table table name where and write down the condition here so based upon this condition in this table the records will be deleted right so example example for this one delete sorry delete from here it is not a table delete from delete from table name for example our table name is a students so actually we have created the students table in the previous sessions right so where we can go percentage is one field in this table percentage less than 90 so this query will delete all the records of a student whose percentage is less than 90. So first it will find the records which are available with the percentage less than 90 and it will delete that. So compulsory if you, are, if you are executing the query we need to commit the connection. We need to commit the connection. So unless you write this comment that will not be reflected. So temporarily the values will be deleted but if you are checking if you check with the table still there will be a students whose percentage is less than 90. So this is compulsory in MySQL. So immediately after executing the query you need to commit the statement. Commit means confirmation. Right. So this is how we can delete the records from a table. So we need to write the condition here. So here we are writing some percentage less than 90 or simply you can go with the roll number is equal to 501 or roll number is equal to 502 or s name is equal to so and so. So whatever the condition we are giving, so based upon that condition, it will find the records and it will remove the records from the table. And now if you want to delete, if you want to delete the complete field. So actually in the previous session we have created the table students with a different fields like uh, roll number, yes name, percentage and I think we have altered this table by adding one more field called branch right. So in the previous session we have created this table and now I just want to remove this branch that means a complete field. So for deleting this complete field we need to go with the alter a query so alter so whatever the things we are dealing with the fields then we need to go with the alter alter table table name drop so here we need to go with the drop column column name right so the alter table table name drop column column name so this query will delete the field from the table so in order to delete this branch we need to go with alter table the students is the table name right students drop column 
branch branch okay so this will delete this will completely delete the column branch right so this is important alter is used to do the modifications on the fields right next draw so in order to delete the complete table entire table then we need to go with this draw the syntax for drop is drop table table name so this query will delete the table itself it will drop the table so that whatever the records available in that table will also be removed so example drop table students so this statement so this is the syntax okay this one is a syntax and if you execute this one drop table students automatically this table will be deleted it will be removed from the database okay so in order to delete the complete table we know we have to go with this drop okay if, if you want to delete some records based upon the condition we need to go with this delete query so these are the two different queries in order to apply the delete operation so let's stop here and uh, i will demonstrate these two queries by executing some program so we'll establish a connection between the python uh, application and the mysql and we'll execute these queries so i will show you that on the system so let's move on to the system hello friends so just now we have seen a uh, two queries that is delete and a draw so in the previous session we have seen about uh, update and alter with alter queries on table now i will demonstrate the delete and drop queries so i will write the program here so we need to follow the four steps that is first we need to uh, import the module then we need to establish the connection then cursor creation cursor object creation and then execute the query so i will write by importing the mysql dot connector and then establish the connection by using the connect method right so connector dot connect and here we need to give the host name so here the host name is local host and give the username here the username is root and give the password so which we have set while installation i have given some computer as a password and then database so in which database we need to uh, alter the tables right so we are having some database saradi in that saradi we are having a uh, table called students i think in the previous session we have created so let's check with that so just open the command line client mysql command line client so here i will check so use saradi database and now show tables so you can observe there is a student and here you can select star from student so that we are having some three fields okay three fields three records right three records now let us create a cursor object so after creating the cursor object we need to delete a record from the table right now cursor dot execute and here we need to write the query so delete from students table name where here we need to give the condition so which student should be removed here so here we are having the three students i will remove the students who are less than 95 whose percentage is less than 95 right so where percentage is less than 95 so after that we need to give the commit so unless you go with the commit function here that will not be reflected on the table right see i will show you i will show you the example so connection dot close after completion we can close it so in the absence of this commit that means if you are not confirming this one so if you execute just a second the student spelling was wrong right we have we have executed and uh, it was executed because we got the number here so you can observe here if you select star from students if you click this one still we are getting the details of a student who is less than 90 whose percentage is less than 90 in the presence of commit if you go with the commit uh, function so that implies it was fixed and 
that records will be deleted from the table. Now, if you execute the same thing and if you still execute the same uh, select star from students, you can observe the students whose percentage is less than 90 was deleted. So previously this 502 roll number with the percentage 90 that was deleted here. So this is how we can delete a particular records based upon the condition, right? And we can also delete the branch. So if you observe here, we are having a branch. So I just want to delete the complete field. So if you want to delete the complete field, we have to go with the alter command because we are dealing with the fields. So alter table, table name, drop, drop, column, branch. If you execute this one and if you execute this one, you can observe there is no branch here. Right? The branch field has been removed from the table. So you can observe the students. So you can get only three fields, roll number, S name and percentage. Right? And this is how we can delete the complete column. And if you want to delete the table, complete table, use a command called drop command. Drop table, table name. So if you execute this one, automatically if you select the students, so you can observe here the table student doesn't exist. So Sardi is, uh, is the database. Inside the Sardi, we are having the students table and that table doesn't exist. So this is how we can use the queries delete and drop so just to delete by using the delete uh, query we can delete the records based upon the condition and if you want to delete the complete column we we are supposed to use the alter query and if you want to delete the complete table so we have to go with the drop query so hope you understood this one delete and drop queries so if you are having any doubts regarding these two queries, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you have really understood my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.